Today was supposed to be the BPM, day one, but uh, as you guys can see, it's raining really hard. Well, right now it stopped, but it was raining really hard all day. So day one, so day one has been a failure so far. So we still came to the night BPM, and it's still raining. We're here at the Coco Maya with Carlos and Victor. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> So we are here, we're gonna go pick up the ticket and we're gonna try Becca. Somebody picked up my wristband this morning, which is bullshit. So I gotta go tomorrow to the main office and fucking talk to them, argue with them, bullshit. The only way you can pick up a wristband is by having your ID and your credit card. So how the fuck did anyone pick up my wristband? It must be a, an error in the system. But dude, that's 600 bucks. Like, they better give me my tickets. I'm not gonna give them 600 bucks though. What the fuck? Where this place called La Garrita, cheap ass drink. Look who I found! I met this fish from Colorado. So we're here with Carmen and Cecilia. Oh, well, but Cecilia got She's shy. Sissy. Oh. Look at her. <laughs> I'm putting them on the spot, but this is Oxy and she helped me out. So. Found that. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so I'm walking back to my hostel, and I've actually noticed a lot of things today. All the traps, all the prostitute traps, all the drug traps, all the fucking cops trying to uh, bribe you traps. I saw them all right now. So just to recap, because I know I was mumbling a lot when I was walking here. There's three tourist traps. The drug bust, the prostitution, and what's the other one? Oh yeah, the robbery. They're all easy to avoid. You just keep in mind that you're drunk at all times. If you're, going, if you're going to go out, remember it. I might be drunk. When you're out, you, I'm getting drunk, and when you're finished, be like, I'm fucking drunk. Just keep that in mind so you can you can see th things differently, because you already know you're fucked up. The first one was the prostitution trap, where you're walking around, and I just saw it so many times, it's crazy. And this girl is just walking around, and she's really hot. And then she sees you, and she starts talking to you, she walks with you, and then she takes you to the strip club but it's a prostitution ring dude so what, what happens there is like I don't know whatever you want to do if you want to pay for sex that's cool with me but just keep in mind that if you're fucked up they're gonna charge you a boatload of money especially in your credit card if you have a credit card on it. and then I guess you gotta dispute the charge but that's up to you and your wife but uh, and then the second one is the drug bust which is very common here in Playa del Carmen and because a lot of tourists don't know the rights here in Mexico here in Mexico you can carry minimum amounts of drugs and it's legal so that's the first thing knowing that and then knowing how many is the minimum amount second thing about that is to uh, be careful man if, if you're drunk if you're fucked up don't buy drugs it, bad move because I saw it right now, I mean, you're walking and people are fucked up and somebody comes up to you and it's like, hey, you want to buy some drugs? Kind of hush hush. But you're so drunk, you're not looking behind you. And right behind you, there's a cop walking with you or a car. But you're fucked up, so you're just walking straight. You're like, oh yeah, whatever, here. He gives it to you. As soon as he gives it to you, the guy walks really fast, gets you. 
or the cop steps on it and he blocks you off and then you fuck because pretty much they usually try to scare you everything here is scare tactics so they'll take you to jail and then you'll, you'll be in jail and they'll like give us money to get him out so your friends have to get all this money to get you out it's just a pain in the ass don't get involved dude and the third one was oh the robbery same thing dude if you're drunk remember you're drunk keep that in mind even when I'm drunk I'm drunk right now I know I'm drunk so I know how to compose myself but if you're walking on the street drunk people can't see that and they when you're at like I was telling you guys before there's zones so right out, right, right outside of the club zone they're looking for you I mean they see that you're fucked up and you're by yourself or the two of you are fucked up and you're walking by yourself they're gonna go chase you don't be scared. I don't like go chase, bro. They're gonna go behind you. And then they usually don't even have a weapon. They just try to mean mug you. People are like, hey, give us your money, like blah blah blah. And they start throwing out bad words and they get really loud or very. Just don't get yourself in that situation. So when you're walking around, you just compose yourself. Don't act so fucking drunk. Even if you are, you just try to keep drunk and just always look behind you. Just be aware of your surroundings. That's that's key word for the three traps be aware of your surroundings good luck guys it's not only in mexico this is all over the world so